I'm here with Dr. Romano and Professor Voice to do a video on circles and spheres. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano and Professor of Organic Chemistry and the creator of the Orgo Man books and the author of The Death Destroyer. I am here with Professor Bloys and him and I are going to do, or I should say he is going to do a math problem involving spheres and circles. All right, Professor, what do you think? Spheres and circles, let's go right. to it. Go to okay, it. let's take a look. There's a diagram here. Consider a sphere inscribed within a cube whose side length is 10 centimeters. What is the volume of the sphere? Okay, so side of the, sea, the cube is 10 centimeters. First, we have to know what the formula for the volume of a sphere is. Four thirds pi r cubed. So the only unknown quantity is what is the radius of the sphere? Well, if the sphere is inscribed in the cube, then we know if the length of the cube is 10 centimeters, it's 10 centimeters from one end of the sphere to the other. We need the radius. The radius is going to be half that diameter. The radius is going to be five centimeters. So the volume is going to be four thirds times pi times five cubed, which is 125. So four times 125 is what? 500. So it's going to be 500 over three times pi. There's the volume of the sphere. Okay, next problem. Express the area of a circle in terms of the square of its circumference. Oh my, well, let's write down the formulas for the area and circumference of a circle. Uh, uh, yeah, of a circle. Area is equal to pi r squared. The circumference is equal to 2 pi r. But we want, we want the area expressed in terms of the square of the circumference. So let's square the circumference and see what we get. It's 2 pi r quantity squared, which gives us 4 times pi squared times r squared. Okay, so moving that over here, how can we represent that as uh, in terms of the, the circumference squared. Well, if I write the circumference squared, this is equal to four pi squared r squared. I'm gonna to have to divide that by what? I want pi r squared. Let's write this as pi r squared. What do we have left over? We have a four and a pi, okay? So c squared has a four and a pi. That's what we don't want. We want to divide that out. If we divide that by 4 pi, we will have the area expressed in terms of the circumference. And if you don't believe that answer, we can just write this 4 pi squared r squared over 4 pi. And we see that the 4s cancel out, one of the powers of the pi cancels out, and we get our pi r squared. So there's our expression, area in terms of the circumference, circumference squared divided by 4 pi. And that's the problem. Great work. A little bit tricky, but quick and dirty. What do you oh, think? yeah, quick and dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again with more fun-filled problems with Professor Blois and myself. Bye-bye.